we could see up to 4,000 people in a day. We're the oldest deli in the world, uh, one of the oldest restaurants in, in the U.S., especially in New York. I think the tradition and that heritage is part of the reason people like to come here. We're about preserving history and preserving a cultural food tradition that's largely disappeared. I'm Jake Dell, I'm the fifth generation owner of Katz's Deli here on the Lower East Side. We've been here 129 years and we've been doing everything the same way since we first started in 1888. We're very well known for our, our meats, right? We go through as many as 40,000 pounds of beef every week. And it's all prepared in a very old fashioned way. Our corned beef is, is cured for four weeks. Pastrami is a navel cut of beef, so it's very fatty, very tender. After you cure it, after you pickle it, you then smoke it. Uh, and that smoking process can be three, four days of smoking. So it's rich with flavor, it's got salt, it's got pepper, it's got coriander, it's got garlic. Basically everything you can do to a piece of meat that makes it so juicy, so tender, that when you take a bite it just melts in your mouth. Everyone remembers the first time they came here. You know, everyone has a story. Celebrities need to eat too, and what better place to eat than right here? The table for the famous scene um, was right here in the store. We get people reenacting it multiple times a week. Oh, God. I'll have what she's having. Grew up here. I spent my entire childhood running around the restaurant. I can smell it and I know something's off. I look at it, I know something's off. And before I even taste it. Hey, one, one sandwich. One, one, one side. You got it. You got it. When it's their family's business, you see passion. Whereas if you work for a big company, you work for... A lot of people don't care as much. You can hear there's always noise in the background. It's got a great energy and atmosphere, uh, and it's always bustling and, and busy, kind of like New York. New York is kind of this ever-changing place. Buildings go up, they come down, restaurants come in, they go out. How do you stay relevant and how do you stay current? What we're doing is the exact opposite. The fact that you look around and it looks the same as it has for the last 129 years. That's how we're staying current. It's bringing the food closer to other people without changing the core of who we are. When everything else around changes, we stay the same. And I think that works but I'll let you know in 50 years. <laughs>